so frustrated. I quite literally just was going, so I filmed a vlog. I vlogged last night for the first time because we've been potty training. Um, and so I had like a, just a naked kid running around and then a pantsless kid. And I was like, you know, we're not, we're not gonna vlog that. Um, so I haven't vlogged in a while. I vlogged last night for the first time. I was like prepping for the beach. I was so excited about it. And I had filmed a bunch of other content on this camera. And then I went to upload it on my computer and I noticed, excuse me, I have hiccups. It was slow motion. And it's not like you can speed it up because it recorded the sound in slow-mo. So whenever you go to like speed up the video, it would and it would like sound really high pitched. I don't know what the heck happened, but I can't use any of that footage. So I had to just refilm. But today it is Thursday. We leave for the beach on Saturday. We still have a lot to do. I've got to get things ready for the house sitter who's coming to stay in our house and keep our fur babies. I have got to finish packing. I've got to go get my car clean today. I am also doing disport today, which I do on a regular basis and filler. I am not interested in negative comments. If you have them, I will erase them and I will block you and we will be done with it. It's 2024, we don't, we don't do that stuff, um, especially in my comment section. But I wanted to get filler in my lips because it's just been something, like I got really full lips when I was pregnant and I loved it. And I would actually say they're still fuller now than they used to be. Like I saw a picture of me for, in uh, college the other day and I was like, girl, what the heck? <laughs> like they were so flat. Um, but I got a lip flip in December and I loved the look of it, but I hated the way it felt. So it like pulled my mouth kind of funny and I felt like I was fighting my mouth to talk and I absolutely hated it. But I liked how it was just subtle. So I'm getting subtle lip filler today and I don't even think it's gonna be something like if I didn't tell y'all, you probably wouldn't know, but I'm also getting disport. Um, so there's just a lot that's going on but I think I hear my child out here, which stresses me out because Roman is supposed to be sleeping. So hold on. Hi! Oh, what are you wearing? Lord, honey, what is his outfit? What is, what is, what is this outfit? Did you let Ezra dress himself? Here. You are supposed to be asleep. What? That's what that sounds like, just say it. <laughs> what is our child wearing? What is this outfit? Shorts, a shirt did and you, shoes. What the hell's you, wrong with it? Did you let it press itself? It's black shorts, a gray and camo shirt. You know and blue shirt? shoes. <laughs> they absolutely, I have matched those bluey shoes to so many things. However, Ezra does like to dress himself a lot now. So sometimes he'll come out and I'm like, did you dress yourself? <laughs> what is this outfit? And sometimes I let it happen, but then Sam will dress him and I'm like, what? Like you would not wear this outfit. What is happening? Sam would not wear camo and gray with black shorts and blue shoes. <laughs> oh man. All right, uh, my mom texted me. So let me see what she's gonna say because I was gonna have her go with me. She's going with me today while I get filler just because she'll sit with the boys, but. Okay. All right, let's see what my mommy texted me. Bye, E, be good for the dentist, okay? <laughs> we are the same person. Okay. Hi. I look and feel like Kris Jenner on vacation when she woke up and had the, had the uh, swollen lip. So this is not how it's gonna look. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm finishing up my skincare routine. I'm sitting here drawing a blank, trying to figure out what the last step is. Oh, moisturizer, duh. Um. But today I went, I go to Dr. Bruce in Greenville. He's amazing, Magnolia Medical Aesthetics. He is the best of the best ever. Like I know a decent number of people who go to him and they're all like, oh, he's so good. He is actually a plastic surgeon and he does not do any like surgeries or anything. He actually just does um, injections all day. And so he is like just so good, so knowledgeable and knows exactly what he's doing. Um, and I ended up doing, God, I wrote it down, hold on. He walked me through the whole process. He was so great, um, explained it all. He was telling me like, he was like, I won't do certain things if it you know, isn't gonna look good. He was like, because I want people to say like, when someone says, oh, who does your injections? If they say my name, he's like, I want people to be like, oh, that looks really good. I don't want them to think, okay, I'm never going to him. Um, I did Restylane. I think that's how it said. R-E-S-T-Y-L-A-N-E. I did a full syringe, one milliliter only in the top. And the biggest reason I got the filler is I had super flat lips, like no lips at all. 
And then when I got pregnant with both babies, it actually gave me lips and I loved the way they look. Um, like I didn't even know pregnancy lips were a thing. And after my babies, a little bit of it stuck around, but for the most part, they were still pretty flat. When you look at yourself every single day, editing footage back, editing photos, you see things that you may not like or that maybe wouldn't be a big deal otherwise. But I just didn't love the way that I also had a crooked smile, which I now know he was explaining to me today is he was like, I bet you sleep on the right side of your face. And I was like, yeah, in between him and the plastic surgeon that did my boobs, I was like, okay, I gotta sleep on my back. Um, but he was explaining that to me. And like, I just have crooked lips. It just is a big insecurity of mine. Like I'm getting my tooth fixed soon. This like dead tooth, it was like a birth defect. Like this is my year to get it back together. <laughs> and so whenever he did it, he did the left side first. Um, he did use lidocaine, which was really nice. I asked if he was gonna use a numbing cream and he was like, numbing cream doesn't really work well. He was like, I use lidocaine. And I was like, oh done. And he ended up doing one injection in either side of my, almost like, it was almost just like right here. Um, instantly it felt numb. He let it sit for a couple minutes, did my disport. And then he went back and he literally was like, okay, I'm gonna do um, the filler now. And I mean it when I say I did not feel a thing, like at all. I could almost feel like a little bit, it was almost like a cooling sensation, but I could not feel anything. It did not hurt. He did not put the needle directly into my um, lip at all, he put it like above. And it just looked so natural right away. Like it looked so good. It, when I got in the car, my mom, she was like, if I was to like be in a grocery store or something, look, look over at you, I would never look at you and be like, oh God, she's had a lot of filler. She was like, I wouldn't even think you had filler. And so it has gotten more swollen. Um, and he did say, it's my first time. He was like, I wouldn't stress out about anything until Monday. He was like, it's gonna look great. Um, he said, but usually he says two days of a little bit of swelling. And he was like, it's just, you know, the first time. So it's definitely gonna be the worst this time. But I'm, I'm so beyond happy with it because I know what it looked like when it was done and what it's gonna look like when it's done being swollen. But if you guys are interested and you live in the Greenville area, and I know he has a Fort Mill office too. So if you live in Fort Mill, um, you definitely can check him out. He is a... Uh, like he's so good and he was showing me pictures like i just feel like when i'm with him he's not someone he's like rushing me and i've always felt like that with every plastic surgeon i've met or every like injector i've ever met like i just don't feel rushed with them they always are so slow and calm <laughs> and i feel like in regular doctor's offices you know it's everything's just like quick 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 fast 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 um and he'll they'll treat you like they've got all the time in the world so today he was like walking me through um all this and we were talking about like the preventative stuff I do for crow's feet like my family has genetically just very very deep crow's feet and he was actually showing me pictures of a woman he has been seeing for seven years and he showed me a photo and you could see the date at the top on like the jpeg um when he took the photo seven years ago of what her skin looked like and like what her wrinkles looked like and he was like this is the very first time she came and he was like and this is when she comes now um just for a touch up like every six months and her skin amazing and it, like her skin it's just so smooth and he was like this is someone who has done like preventative um disport the right way and he it just it looks so good so anyways just a little spiel about my filler situation again i won't take any negative comments i'll just erase it and block you um i got a really really rude comment the other day from a girl complaining like she clearly watched the entire vlog but complaining about me being a stay-at-home mom and I was like, I, what is that we're complaining about people doing that now? Like wh what? I, so yeah, no negativity. I'm just wanting to share my full experience on it. Um, but it's weird for me to look at you and be like, I'm so happy when you see this. <laughs> it don't look so good. It's just, it's, it's, we're going to need a couple minutes. So anyways, I'm going to go get in bed now. Um, and then I'm going to, like I said, I think, I don't know what I've said at this point. I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> upload some footage to the Google Drive, make sure that my footage isn't ruined this time. And then tomorrow is our last day before we leave 